if you want to move like a comp guard in NBA 2K24, you might as well make this build right here. And if you've been watching me already, y'all know I'm a dribble demon and I'm always going to bless y'all up with the new build. But besides that, let's get right into the video. That boy Chance, he him. He him. He ain't even touched the man. All right, first things first, before we get into the build, if you new, come on, hit that sub button for me. We, we on the road to 12K, come on, do your, do your boy a favor. Also, if your play style is more for threes, or it's like, or not even, if you like like rim running, it's okay to be a rim runner. But if you a rim runner and you wanna make a taller build, you could do that. You don't gotta make this build. I'm not forcing none of y'all to make this build. I'm just letting y'all know this is probably the best comp guard. Like if people who play stage and want to play point guard position and be able to left, right, dribble, pop the three, maybe fade in the corner, shoot in somebody's face, get an ankle breaker. If you want to do that, this is the build for that. Starting off with the build, you want to make your height 6'2". The only reason I didn't go 6'3", because in this year, 2K is greedy with the badges. Not like last year, you can literally be a little bit lenient and you could put a high boy handle, high defense and high shooting at the same time and have an 89 driving dunk and it'll be perfectly fine not this year you can't do that then for the weight you're gonna go 165 pounds and that's minimum weight then you're gonna go minimum wingspan too so you can get that highest three possible just because we want to get that limitless on gold people say limitless on silver is cool but all i gotta say right now if you want to be pulling from half court put that limitless on go and you won't be doing that with no problem first things get the stamina out the way because if you are guarding this game and you don't got 99 stamina what is you doing put that 99 stamina you won't regret it if you played guard last year this year you can't really get that 95 acceleration just because it takes up too much attributes for you to be able to have everything you really want to be able to do so just leave that acceleration at a 94 and you'll be perfectly fine it's just one off from last year if you see that i have a lower speed than acceleration that's because you don't really need speed and i like old 2ks acceleration is all you need if you want to be a dribbler going into playmaking you want to have this year i don't know why i feel like it's bad Balance, I guess just because you don't want to have tall builds with high ball handle and be able to still do the same thing as a small guard so I guess why they put 98 ball handle to get the main badges on Hall of Fame but as you can see so far you get every badge on Hall of Fame except for weight speed boosted but you're gonna get that Hall of Fame speed booster just wait and we only had an 82 overall so far so we still have way more room to move stuff around and I feel like this year more than last year since they added this badge called it's a badge in this game where you can steal the ball with your right stick and i feel like once the lockdowns get that badge all the way up i feel like steals are going to become op and for those people that make them six six bills and them tall bills them tall guards y'all want to dunk the ball i feel like locks is going to shut that down this year with that badge so for those of you that are thinking like why do i have a 98 ball handle that's exactly the reason because lockdowns this year them six six lockdowns is fun to be on you're behind spamming that right stick don't say I ain't try to warn you. Ball handle is 98 and your speed with balls are 91. Only reason I don't go high, high speed with ball is just because 91 is all you need to get that speed booster on Hall of Fame. And that's basically quick first step. If you don't know what quick first step is, it's when you do a speed boost or a regular crossover to the right and you're going to get a boost of speed out of nowhere. So the higher the tier the badge, the more explosive you're going to be on the court. So if you're a small guard or not even a tall guard, you're going to make sure you have that badge as high as you can get it. Your pass accuracy, I max mine's out of the 70 just because to get bail out this year, you need at least, I think it's an 87 or an 89 pass accuracy and i just feel like that's way too high for me to just waste all my badge points on so i just went 70 so this year you can't be really just going up for layups and just throwing it out unless you're a pure playmaker really now that we're talking about into shooting the reason why i went 96 three-pointer is because i feel like this year more than last year the dribble moves are way faster so that allows you to be able to do a peak Wow, people haven't found out a quick style. I'm gonna find out a quick style method for y'all and I'm gonna drop it and I'm gonna post it on TikTok. So y'all stay in tune for that. But watch that 96 3 with limitless gold and the movement from the last year to this year. And the fact that you don't lose any adrenaline bars when you dribble around the court is gonna be crazy. And as you can see, we are 99 overall just right there. You're just gonna copy down the stats and you made the bill. And as you can see, this build compared to last year, last year you was able to get a driving dunk. So this year you can't really get a driving dunk. 
layups are super op so you can time the time them to the point where it's like he's not gonna really get the block unless it's a big 6-6 six, six guard is not really gonna get in blocks because they can't really get every around the whole category like last year and no don't forget chase down cause so much attributes so it's like dang is it really worth trying to get a driving dunk on a small guard not really plus you're the fastest build on the court most of the time not even probably all the time though i'm maybe we gotta see how the year goes five seven guards might come back and make a return with that 99 acceleration and 99 speed but hey who knows we still in patch one everybody's still figuring out i will be dropping that dribble tutorial it's gonna be coming probably tomorrow or the day after because i'm gonna be in that gator facility laughing like crazy it's shades of you see the players already yeah i see it mr trey young is up there and you know trey young got that best fade in the game and i'm gonna be 300 like a trey it's even in my name three point shot hunter come on this is the 300 build if you a threes player like me this is the three hunt bill i guaranteed you you will be getting locks mad and this year more than ever we don't gotta worry about losing no adrenaline balls but besides that the labs is coming soon the six is coming soon the jump shot will be coming soon and i'm gonna see you on the next one i love y'all boys peace bye have a beautiful time